The main event, lights out, anything goes, Britt Baker versus Thunder Rosa. Before I go into all my praise for this match, I do have one thing I have to say. And that is that there needs to be a rule, please, that Vicky Guerrero and Rebel are never allowed to hit anybody ever again. The very first spot in this match is oh, Rebel spot? Yeah. hits Rosa with his crutch shot. It is the weakest lamest looking shot you've ever seen I was just like oh my god thankfully it was all uphill from there so they set a low standard here with this first spot but anyway so they start brawling all over the place Akarashi just watching backstage and they brawl in the crowd they're throwing chairs at each other they're doing a curb stomp on the steps Britt throws all these chairs into the ring Thunder comes up bleeding from the, the curb stomp then uh, Rebel tosses a ladder into the ring, and Thunder gives Britt a face buster onto it. She drop kicks the ladder into her face in the corner. Now Britt is bleeding everywhere. And I'm talking about Brit the everywhere. Crimson Mask. She's leaking blood all over the face, uh, all over the place, and her face. And they do a DDT onto a chair. Another curb stomp onto a chair. Britt gets thumbtacks. They're fighting back and forth with these thumbtacks. Rose ends up drop kicking rebel off the apron and she goes to a table on the floor so she's dead Britt takes a big power bomb onto the thumbtack she kicks out tries to lock down the thumbtacks rosa rolls her backwards into the tacks for the break they start fighting up on the apron and finally thunder grabs her she hits a thunder fire driver off the apron through a table to the floor which looked brutal by the way and gets the pin so this will be remembered like i said It'll be a, remembered as a classic Dynamite main event. It's one of the greatest women's matches in this country's history. Ever in this country. I mean, Absolutely. it was fantastic. And yeah. they killed each other, and thumbtacks, and blood, and, I mean, what more do you want? Lights out match. They yeah, gave they, they, you more than you were expecting. Because you know what? I was expecting chairs, and some tables, and some ladders. I was not expecting double juice, nor was I expecting thumbtack spots. And so, in fact, they over-delivered on what I was expecting here. Yeah, well, it was a lot better than I, yeah, I, had any, I would have ever imagined. I thought they both came across as superstars. Um, See, I didn't think it was going to be this good, but you know what? I knew it would be good. When they... Thunder Rosa, Thunder Rosa is, well, let me is make my a point really here. good wrestler. So so when they... And, 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 and Britt has improved yes, a lot. Yes, yes. But when they announced the Shaq match, okay, when they announced it was going to be on TV, and it was going to be on a live show and not a taped show, that's when I kind of figured out, I was not expecting the match to be good, but when I when I figured out that they were doing it live, I thought they must know something that like I don't know. And in fact, they did. And so this being the main event of the show announced in advance of the main event of the show. That's when I figured this match is going to be like the match everyone's going to be talking about. And it was. Well, it had to be. They had to they they had to deliver. Because I mean, you had a lot of good wrestlers on the show. I mean, you had the the Phoenix match scheduled, you had the Good Brothers and Moxley and Kingston scheduled, you had the uh the opener, uh the Cody Rhodes and, Cody Rhodes and Penta. So like the fact that they put this in the main event, they the main event is supposed to be like the best match on the show. So in theory. Well the putting it is, in that position, that's what but, I figured this could be the, a really good match. But the lights out, see the idea, and they'd been building for this for like, I don't know, five, six months. The the idea was always to blow them off in a lights out match. And because of the nature of how they book, the lights out match always, even if there's a world title match, the lights out match always goes on last because the idea is, is that the regular show is over. And this is the unsanctioned match. Now, for a pay-per-view, it sort of makes sense. For TV, it's kind of like, okay, the regular show's over with 30 minutes to go, and now we're going to have another match, but that's trivial. It's like, whatever. Um, but, but yeah, it, it has to go on match because you have you to. You can s- schedule an unsanctioned match. It's just unsanctioned. It's lights out. Show's over. But it's still during our TV time. I don't find I that can- that hard to believe. I mean, I don't worry about it. It's it's that's it. It just be nitpicking, you know, to to go that deep and go like, well, you know, whatever. But, um, but in in theory, the way they do it, it, the lights out match has to be last on the card. And also, here's the other thing: if the lights out match is going to be their specialty match that they do once a year, 
and it's the blow off and it's the protected match where you don't have all kinds of fucked up stuff like everybody does to ruin cage matches and things like that that used to be the big blow off match if that's it for this um you don't want to follow it you know what i mean you don't want i mean like who who you know you put anyone out to follow this match anyway you put like uh you know, like Ray Phoenix and Angelico to follow this. I mean, those poor guys, you can't do it. So it had to go on last. But, um, yeah, no, it's going to be, um, you know, an absolutely memorable match. And they both, like I said, they came across superstars, both of them. Um, you know, Brit, Brit's really come into her own as, as, as a heel ever since the knee injury. But, I mean, she's, honestly, you know, with the exception of, like, I mean, who, who, who comes across more like a superstar now than than Britt Baker? I mean, I don't think Asuka does. I don't think Bailey does. Um, Banks, maybe, maybe. You know, she's probably still better a wrestler oh than what she is. I'm staying off your timeline tomorrow. Oh yeah. Oh, I know why people are gonna be mad. I didn't say Alexa oh, Bliss. Oh God. Well, I mean, just any of those names, you're gonna get it. I don't care. She came across. She came across better than. When was the last time a woman in WWE came off this good in a match? You're on the main go, roster, been a long time. You're gonna have to go back. Even even on NXT, you're gonna have to go back. You're gonna have to go back to uh, 2016. Whatever it was when when Charlotte Flair and and Sasha Banks had that match in um, Charlotte, North Carolina, where they brawled all over the place, and they came. They were both. I think that was a, a Raw main event, and they both came across as superstars. Or Charlotte. I mean Becky Lynch for sure. I mean you know Becky Lynch absolutely. Um, you know the Charlotte Flair that Becky Lynch had that one really absolutely fantastic pay per view match. I mean those you know that was stuff in you know. I mean that sure sure you know. But it's it's still rare, and we're going back a long time. Um, and Thunder Rose is just she's another one. I mean, she's she just so I don't know what it is about her. I mean, she's a good wrestler, and she's just you know uh, she comes across well. Um, I mean, they should. I guess they don't have to do Hikaru Shida and Thunder Rosa match next because it's unsanctioned, so the wins and losses don't matter. But Hikaru Shida was watching it, so that sort of tells you that one of these two is going to be wrestling Hikaru Shida next. Um, and it could, you know what? And it could be either one. And uh, either way, it they'll probably have a great match too. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.